Okay, so it's another week and we can once again do the demonic beast battles for the first time clear rewards. So we're going to do the dogs and we're actually going to use this team right here, which is the King Ban Patience team. Now this team I've been using it for like the last three weeks because I do find it to be the most consistent. Um most consistent in terms of once you get it set up then it sort of really works out and there's not a lot of rng like there's still some rng but it's not a lot and it only takes like the first two or three turns so if you sort of don't get the team sort of set up then you can just reset and just run it again and you're not losing a lot of time each floor so what makes this team so good well because king his passive anytime you attack the enemy is gonna give you a shield and then we got this blue brawler ban and his passive is that he decreases the enemy's attack related stats by 15% at the start of allies turn if the hero doesn't take damage and it stacks up to five times so up to 75% and that's really really crazy so that means that the boss is pretty much just gonna patience you it's not gonna break your shield it's gonna patience you because the ban is never gonna take damage well why is he never gonna take damage well that also depends on the gear so we're just gonna have a look from left to right here so king has attack crit damage that is the only gear I have for king so that's what I'm running uh, I'm not sure if HP defense works out that well because you do need to hit the boss for as hard as you can to sort of maximize the uh, strength of the shield that you get. Freyr also has attack crit. Bonar has HP defense and I did give her some new uh, sort of defense pieces here uh, where I did roll for crit resistance. Like this was the first sort of um, sub rolls that I rolled uh, and I was also running that on Ban as you can see here he has my purgatory Ban set so perhaps I should give him some other HP pieces right here. Uh, it doesn't perhaps have to be like his own pieces but because Ban doesn't give you any attack and uh, this Ban isn't really benefiting too much but he's not really here to deal damage that's up to like King and Freyr um, so for this this is fine and here I actually have resistance so instead of crit resistance which I had first I have resistance on him but I'm not sure because when I changed to resistance I also leveled him up from 90 to 100 and this seems to be working really well uh, so this is what I'm going with for now as you can see like you don't need to have um, proper pieces like you don't need to have UR pieces uh, these pieces are totally fine which I do believe were these uh, R pieces right here which I upgraded and they became SR pieces when, once I made them like into Ban's own pieces uh, so it's like benefiting a little bit more from the defense there not a lot but I mean any sort of stat numbers uh, matter of course against this boss fight so artifact set is of course the new demonic beast set which prevents you from getting frozen once you have five orbs or more and then also increase your basic stat by 10% and once again an overview of uh, my stats my gear and of course the card set so yeah, let's just get into it Alright, so first up we got floor 1 here, and this can be quite an annoying floor. Um, like, all the floors are annoying in their own ways, but this one is annoying mostly on the third phase where you actually need to kill the two bosses at the same time. Uh, no matter the team, uh, this is going to be an annoyance for you. Uh, but here we're actually just gonna go ahead and... So we're gonna attack here. Uh, yeah, I'll attack with this one, and then we'll do one king card. So basically what I want to get is, well, first I attack three times to damage the boss and then I use a king attack because when I attack three times, uh, upon like the third time damaging the enemy, uh, Thonar's passive is gonna give us the attack increase, so king shield is gonna be just a little bit beefier. On the later floors I'm gonna have to use both king cards. And like this is sort of also why I'm making this video because I've seen a lot of the Grand Cross YouTubers make these sort of videos with this team specifically. So it's nothing new, um, but the sort of the way they play is, well, suboptimal if, if I have to say so. But uh, so here we're actually going to use both king cards. We're going to move once. We're going to get his ult and then we're just going to attack with Freya there. Now what you want for the... Uh, third turn is of course you want king's ult and you also want at least one of these um, stance remover cards uh, so you want to have at least two stance remover cards and this is really nice <laughs> we're getting a gold card there uh, but i'm actually just gonna use the silver card um, but here because you have uh, both freyr and thonar you're gonna get both of their um, stance remover cards so you can be lucky hold on it doesn't taunt on this face you, you can be lucky and get like either one of their uh, card so like the the amount of luck you actually need is sort of reduced i think i'll push phase feel like i have enough firepower to to kill and push phase so we're just gonna do this i feel like king is gonna hit for hard it's probably not gonna hit damage cap or uh, push the boss into the next phase but it doesn't really have to like i can wait one extra turn 
and how about that did push it but like pushing the phase or waiting of course and either way is fine so here we're just gonna go ahead and first attack with king and uh, just to get the shield up and it's also gonna increase the damage we deal because of course king's passive increases damage allies deal by 25 percent when they have a shield up so we're gonna do this this and then we're gonna will that kill probably not i'll just attack with this card so that we're saving the king cards and we can maybe push an ult or something before we move into the next phase And this might kill. Nah. She does hit quite weak, I must say. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, the boss has started getting a lot of these um, debuffs here. It's not really breaking the shield or anything. Uh, for Ban here. Let's just see how far we have gotten with that. I haven't really been paying attention to that. I've just been talking. Uh, but here at minus 60%, and next turn he's gonna get like the max stack. So it's 4 stacks already, where he hasn't damaged Ban. I'll just go ahead and get the Ban's ult. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna use this card, just to waste it. So here we start with 2 ults. Uh, now you do want to get like both wolves down at the same time. Um, but it's probably gonna take us at least a few, you know, turns. Because um, we want to have this wolf... Uh, was it this one? Solar Blessing every two turns. Wolf Claw, Solar Blessing. Yeah, so he taunts and you do want to use the King Alt at that point. So it's gonna be next turn. So not this turn and not next turn, but the one after that you want to have at least King's Alt ready. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually attack him with Ban. Just to remove the Alt Gage Orbs. Then we're gonna attack him with Thonar. We will throw up like a regular King Shield or... Perhaps I should go for a gold king shield. Because king is attack lowered, so we do need to like, get as beefy king shield as we possibly can. But I do believe there they should be at 75% because Ban didn't take turn. Yeah, so it's, a, it's at max stacks anyway. Uh, so this is what we'll do then. I'll attack with one of these, and then we will just attack with one of those. Sort of start doing as much damage to both of them as we possibly can. I don't want to deal too much damage to the left one, because the left one can take 30% of his max HP in like one go. The right hand one, uh, the white wolf, can take 20%, so you do sort of need to mix and match how exactly you're gonna attack them. But here you can see we're, we're already starting to patience the enemy. And it's, yeah, that's so beautiful, man. This is so good. Sometimes they deal damage, but they don't deal a lot of damage because they have like 75% uh, reduced to attack related stats, so... Here he will taunt, so now we do need King's Alt, but we are gonna get it because we're gonna attack with like a uh, Power Strike card here. Now we did lose our Thonar passive, but we do need to attack twice before we attack with King. Otherwise the shield will be quite weak, because he doesn't have the Thonar buff anymore. So you do need to keep that in mind as well. Um, we're gonna just attack like this. I'll actually use two king cards, so this one will probably hit, I think. Just in case it doesn't, I'm gonna attack... Hold on, I should probably get his ult. We do one attack like that. The second attack should probably be a king attack. Uh, instead, I'll attack with Ban, and then we will do a king card. Now we're gonna get Freya's ult, we're gonna get King's ult. And we could potentially think about pushing uh, into the next floor. Because we do want to have full HP, so you don't want to um, sort of die. But we do have one extra turn to actually set it all up. Because they're not going to be able to break King Shield next turn anyway. Not even with their ults or anything, so I am not worried. Hold on, he's going to do the debuff attack here. Applies Poison and Bleed, and then he's going to use the ult, which is weak point damage. Now that could deal a lot of damage. Now here, this is the only thing I'm worried about. Like, is this... 30% HP. I'm just gonna do a quick calculation here. It is 34%, so he will survive next turn. Uh, this left hand or right hand one has 31%. I'm pretty sure I can just straight up kill them without having to worry. Uh, so that is just what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna hit them both with this. This one should have 30% HP left. I will attack him with this. We will do one Thonar attack on like the remaining wolf and then another king attack, and this should kill because uh, their HPs are low enough. So. Here we go. Now this one had these stats increased, but he should still probably die. So he did patience us. 
hopefully this kills. Yeah, all right, good. <laughs> so that's floor one. Floor one is usually the most easy one. And then floor two and three do need to get some luck at the very start of the fight. All right, so now we're on floor two and uh, at the start of the floor, we actually do need to get a little bit of luck. So what I mean by this is we're gonna need some card luck. We're gonna need to have at least a little bit of luck on what cards the boss is gonna use. Um, but like in terms of what cards you're gonna use as like your first turn, it's pretty much always gonna be the same. So I always tend to go with one of these. Uh, now here we have to hope that at least two of these attacks aren't like swipes. And by swipe I mean like the AoE attack. Uh, the single target attack is kind of fine, uh, but the AoE attack can sort of break the ban shield. And if it swipes twice and or swipes once and attacks ban once, then it's gonna break the shield and it's not gonna be debuffed by ban's passive. Uh, but here, like if you want, you can attack with this card uh, on the Black Wolf and it's gonna damage it. I do believe if you have like attack sub rolls on your top pieces, you should be able to deal damage with this card against the White Wolf. I myself patience him and I do need to deal damage so that Thonar's passive will proc. Because I do need to deal damage three times before I attack with this card as my final attack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this card, then this card, and this card. Just to make be sure that uh, that's what I get. And I also like this sort of play because it leaves these two cards open to get, actually getting mergers from whatever cards card draws I get here so we will just see what we get but we do need one king card and hopefully at least one of these two cards yeah like that so you get like a merger if you actually use this card as well so that's very very fortunate here we're getting a silver card if you want to I do believe that is what I'm gonna go for so we're gonna move and attack with that one or perhaps I don't have to do that perhaps I can just do this this move it once and then attack with it Alright, see, that does so little damage, you know. But Ban, unfortunately Ban did take damage there, so the boss isn't debuffed here. But that's not the end of the world. Uh, it all depends on like what kind of card draws you get. Here, he probably won't be able to break the shield. Unless he does two swipes. As you can see, he does a lot of damage there. But he's gonna do this buff up here, so that's really good. And he usually likes to go for at least like one single target attack against King for some reason. Here, we are going to break this. We are, we're actually gonna let the boss ult, so that's why I'm never gonna use these cards as like any sort of first attack because I do want the boss to actually get uh, his ult here because we're gonna get a super beefy king shield so he's not gonna be able to break it with the ult and if you remove it then the next turn you might not get as beefy of a king shield as you could this turn and I'm actually gonna save this card and I'm gonna save this card just because in two turns this little one is gonna get his shield again and if we do need to sort of drag it out for that long and that's sort of the thought behind that so I'm gonna just gonna waste this card instead and here we're actually gonna remove like the 50% defense increase because of King's ult that is really really hard so 890,000 not the best like I've had him hit for like 1.2 million 1.1 million I'm not sure about why the damage is so low here now but it is what it is and we do have two King cards and as you can see we're getting attack disabled so that's one of the reasons like maybe you wanna wait an additional turn like we could push the phase now and it should probably be fine because as you can see he's gonna get this uh, and this buff again and we did not get any more yeah we did get one of these cards so i might actually just wait one additional turn although the boss is gonna get this which increases defense related stats so like it could be kind of bad in a way just because you're gonna maybe not even be able to kill the boss at that point depending on sort of what kind of cards you get but I'm not gonna attack, I'm just gonna wait. Hopefully this doesn't do enough damage to actually kill and we get one more turn, so... Like if all else fails, you can always pause it, yeah, go out and then sort of try another combination of attacks that can potentially kill. So now he should have at least three stacks, so that should be 45% uh, attack related stat decrease. Yeah, and so he can stack up to two more times. So if we actually push the phase now, that's gonna be one additional stack. This might not even hit that, now that I think about it. Like it could, I think. But she's really weak for some reason for me. And this should kill. And for next turn, we won't be attack disabled or attack re have our attack reduced. We do have one ult, and this phase you actually wanna push the phase as quickly as you possibly can. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna attack with King first. Now, as you can see, you do need to be mindful of this debuff here. And what this debuff does is you can't use rank 2 or higher skills. So it's like the Festival Gopher debuff card. And as you know, this little wolf here on turn... On his second turn, he's actually gonna put up a shield. So you do want to use, say, 
a silver card like this so you can remove the shield and keep dealing more damage but here we're gonna do this i'm gonna attack with that i will actually save for one of these and then we're gonna do another king attack because i don't want kings to get frozen and next turn we're gonna get his ult so that's really nice as well 300k damage is a lot that's really good so now we do have his ult uh, we should probably see if we can sort of stall it out for one more turn to where we can get uh, say freyer's ult that we can get like uh, some of the other units ults um as you can see we can't use this card now because she got this less fortunately uh, the uh, white wolf here hasn't used this card yet but next turn he might so we do need to be mindful of that so what i'm gonna do here is oh yeah that actually does remove the debuffs as well so i wonder if i should just save the king ult then for next turn just to be extra extra safe that's still gonna deal a lot of damage king's not attack reduced right now he has a lot of attacks so that's gonna deal a lot of damage i wonder if i should use a freer card or if i just use bound cards i kind of like the idea of this actually merging so i'm probably gonna use the freer card nah nah i'm gonna, actually gonna just use this and then use these two cards and then hope for some freer cards for next turn when we are gonna use the ult so no matter what we're gonna use the king ult uh, unless of course I can, I feel like I can actually kill it without using King Alt. Yeah, but the King Alt also prevents the King from actually getting frozen. So I think a silver attack of those freezes King, and he seems to focus King a lot. So uh, we can actually remove this shield there. We're gonna do this, and I do believe this is gonna kill there. Now it's not optimal. I should have maybe used the Alt before. But at least we're, we're pushing the phase now. Now next turn, you honestly want to use as many strong attacks against one one of the wolves as you possibly can in one. Like if you attack him five times, he's going to get a revive. So as strong attacks as you possibly can get away with. Uh, that's going to be like your best bet. I will just do this. I'll do another attack here as well. Oh wait, I should have used the prayer card. Never mind. Oh man, that's such a mistake. So now I'm not gonna get the free ult, right? I thought I had it. For some reason I thought I had it. Oh, and King gets frozen. <laughs> oh, this is the worst case scenario. We have to quit here. Oh. Actually I can unfreeze Queen King. Because of the cards that I can just move a card. Uh, so we're gonna get King ult. Here I will actually attack with this card. So that's gonna be three attacks, right? Three attacks against him and he has a damage cap of 30%. Now this of course might hit close to damage cap. Um, I wonder if I should probably not attack with that card, although I kind of do want to because I do need to attack with this as well. So I should probably not attack with that card. Uh, I should just attack the white wolf with it instead. And then hope that Freyr, uh, the Freyr's ult might actually kill the boss. Which I'm doubtful now that I think about it. Uh, so the revive is something we're gonna have to deal with now. And we're also gonna have to remove this taunt here. But at least we're not taking a lot of damage. And we're actually getting patience, at least on Ban. So. <laughs> and everyone. <laughs> so Freya is attack lowered. Alright, so we're gonna do this, this. Uh, this. And we just, we just need to deal as much damage to him as we possibly can. So next turn he's gonna get his ult. So we do have an ult remover here. I'm actually gonna use the bank card. So he got the revive there. And the revive is gone. And then we attack with the bomb. Alright. Alright, I did bring him down quite low. Next turn maybe we can kill him. We did get one king card, that's very good. Now once we actually kill him, like the debuffs we have uh, shouldn't really be a problem anymore. Like the only issue is king won't be able to deal a lot of damage to like one single wolf which isn't really that much of an issue now he does have us um extorted so absorb the target's decreased stats which i mean how much stat does he decrease attack and defense by 20 percent so he's gonna hit a little bit harder he's gonna take a little bit less damage and we're gonna deal a little bit less damage and take a little bit more damage so uh, now we do need to kill him he has an ult what we're gonna do here is i'm actually gonna attack with king first just to get a shield then we're gonna do as much damage as we possibly can unfortunately she is frozen so she won't be able to deal damage like that's that shield strength should be enough all right one boss down and all debuffs should be gone soon 
Uh, this boss will revive also, but this is lore too, like on the second try, that's not bad for me. Usually it takes me a little bit longer than that, and it usually takes me like two or three days of playing this game mode on and off, so... Uh, here I will actually just go for King Shield, or King Ultimate, just to ensure that I can actually get like a King Ultimate. Or at least one King card, I guess. Um, which of course is gonna help me for next turn as well. And the boss will be dead next turn. I wonder if I should perhaps finish him off with Ban, if that's even possible. I'm gonna attack with this. I'm gonna do one of these. Maybe that's gonna kill it with Ban, and not Thoner. Oh yeah, come on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just for a thumbnail. Because I did get King finishing, uh, Finisher and now I got Ban Finisher. Alright. So, on to floor 3. Alright, so it's been a few hours and I'm not gonna lie to you. I did fail like 15 or 16 times, so... Just be aware it can take a lot of like tries if you have like super bad luck, but yeah, we're gonna give it another go here now. So like your first move is of course gonna be the same move as you did on floor 2, which is like attacking with a king, then a ban, then a frayer, and then of course another king attack. Because after the third attack you're gonna proc Thonar's passive, which is gonna increase your attack. And the king final power strike card here is gonna deal a lot of damage and give you quite a beefy shield. Now if this Silver card here is an AoE, it's gonna break the shield, uh, but if it's a single target card, it's probably gonna go for King and uh, it will not break the shield. So we'll do this, and then these two attacks also deal chip damage, so that's like, an, an, like another bonus, so that's why we're using them. And also, if you have your unit set up in this order, uh, or a similar order, then you have these two cards ready to sort of potentially get merges, uh, which is gonna help you later on. Uh, to actually deal more damage to the boss, because you don't have to move a card, you can just attack with a card, because uh, you will get a merger. Like this. Perfect timing, right? Now, I do hope that the boss can get his ult by next turn, but we will see. Perhaps he only uses two cards next turn. Yeah, he got a merger and he uses three cards, that's good for us, so he's gonna use the ultimate. And we're just gonna attack with King. Alright, that gave us a shield, uh, we're gonna see what these few other cards are. So that's a silver card was the signature card, so he probably won't break the shield. Like if he has a silver AoE card, he is going to break uh, the shield around the arm. At least turn 1, I'm not sure about turn 2, potentially turn 2 as well. Uh, but now he has 30% reduced attack related stats because Ban has 2 stacks now. So that's 2 stacks. And also if you notice here, uh, the stance card also taunts, so it does that on phase 2 as well. So here we're just going to use this card. We're going to use the ultimate. We're actually going to use this and we want to save this stance cancelling card. And then we are going to uh, use this cleave card to get our Freya ult. And hopefully do a lot of chip damage. Now we're removing the 50% increase to defense that the boss gives himself every 2 or 3 turns. I think it's every two turns from now on, I'm not sure. They did take a lot of damage and he also heals like back about 10-15% I think. It depends. Like we could kill the boss now, um, but then we run the risk of uh, going into the next phase with like 20% attack rate stats reduced. However, if we don't then it's gonna be a little bit tougher. So what we can do here is we can just start moving some king cards. I think I'll attack with king and just merge this because you do want to get like king cards up as high as you possibly can now this little wolf again will taunt up and the other one will buff his um, defense by 50 percent and yeah but because he taunted up we have this card that we can remove the taunt we cannot remove the buff here because we don't have our king ult so i will just sacrifice freyer's ult here it's gonna deal a lot of damage but i think it's gonna be worth it so if we do this We'll do this. I'm not sure if this actually kills or not. Like these two attacks in combination. So I will use this as well. Just in case. And then we'll take like phase 2 as it comes. Generally, if you can, like you wanna save up. Yeah, that's not gonna kill. But generally, if you can, like you wanna save up um, as many like ultimates and stuff as you possibly can before you push phase. Just so that you don't stay in this phase for too long. 
it can be done, and that's what I'm gonna do here. But as you see, I can't get King's Salt now. I can sort of push Freyr's Salt. Ban is disabled. Uh, next turn, this unit will get a taunt, so I do want to get like another uh, stance cancelling card. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna try to deal as much damage as we possibly can. So I'm gonna do this. I probably will waste maybe a ban card. Now I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna waste one card here. So this is gonna give us a beefy enough shield that he probably won't be able to break it and because he still has i think he's at like 75 percent uh, attack related stats reduced so now he could freeze king of course but we do have the card sets so we can move cards twice to unfreeze him uh, then we'll see oh he actually froze him so he's frozen two units i'll see at how many attacks so she's at zero this is a little bit unfortunate as we're attacking here with king he will not benefit from the Attack related is that increase from Thonar's passive here. The shield will be a little less, you know, beefy. Uh, the attacks he will use this turn though is um, he's gonna debuff us and then he is going to use this, I believe. Yeah, that's a single target card. So I'm not worried about him actually attacking Ban. He's probably gonna focus down King. So we will just put up a shield just so King takes a little less damage and then we'll do one of those. Now we will get the King ult. And we cannot remove the shield around the smaller wolf because we don't have a silver card of either this one or this one what i actually will go for is just straight up i will alt that is going to be enough that's going to remove all these debuffs as well um, what does that attack do so there is this one which is resonance damage per buff debuff and stance on the target all right uh, here i actually will get bounce alt i will attack with no, actually, if I if I attack, that's just gonna be a straight up a waste. I will waste one card and hope to get like a stance cancelling card. Because at the moment I can't damage this uh, left hand side boss. Now I can't because I can remove it and then I can ult. Uh, it should be fine here from here on out. We'll just see who he freezes though. But here we are just gonna remove this one. We will ult. Um, I should probably still use a king card. I'm not sure the ult or like any of the damage that I'm dealing is gonna be enough. So we are gonna use a king card here. Uh, well. That removed all the ult gauge orbs. Oh wow, Ban. Yeah, Ban does a lot of damage. Okay, so now we're on the final phase here. And what did we get? Attacking the enemy with the lowest percentage of HP results in a critical hit. So King will always be critted on. Since we are merging here, we're getting quite a lot of cards that we can utilize. Uh, I will attack with King before attacking with Freyr. And then I'm afraid of actually using a King card, but I am going to use a King card. Maybe that's a bad idea, honestly. Like I should have just wasted a card and played it safe because you kind of need king cards, you need shields and doing it like this is, yeah, like yeah, you can get king cards, but it's not guaranteed, obviously. And here you can see he's doing a lot of damage still, but it's not going to be enough. King is attack reduced and Freyr, of course, is patience because I do believe he was frozen, right? Um, I might be mistaken. So next turn he will get a buff, so we do need to get King's ult. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna get here. I am gonna attack once with King just to get a shield up. Then we're gonna have a look at how many stacks she has. She has one stack, so I need to attack at least with someone else first. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna attack with this, and then we're gonna do this just to merge. So it's patiencing. That's bad for us, actually. Um, I was not expecting them to patience me, so I need to reset here. Alright, so I had to reset here because this attack patience at the boss, so I need to attack with two other attacks first before I attack with a king card, so that is what I'm gonna do here. I am going to attack like this. Now I can't attack with Thonar either because she's also uh, doesn't have like the stat increase from her own passive and these attacks should hit oh my god it's so weak because king has his attack reduced but this should be enough right i hope patience that's good 
At least patience in Bam. That is all I can ask for. King, of course, is always gonna get critter on. Oh, that's good. He patience it. Now we can remove all these debuffs. We can remove the enemy's buffs. He is going to extort us. I believe that's extort at 20% attack and defense from all enemies. And then he's going to ult us with a weak point ult. Uh, I do have a ult gauge remover with this card. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to ult first though. That is going to remove like the attack uh, related stat decrease here. Yeah, by 30% even. Uh, attack with this ban card. And then this Freyr card. And we're going to hope for the best. Hope to at least kill the left hand side mob. Because Freyr hits hard, so... Alright, good. Now we are chilling. Uh, we do get some nice King cards. We could actually push King ult again. Uh, which might not be the worst idea. So the boss has his ultimate now. The, now the ultimate is... Fix damage equal to a certain percentage of attack on all enemies. Restores the HP of all allies by 80% of the damage dealt. I don't have any ult gauge removers yet, so I will try to get as beefy shield as I possibly can. And I'm gonna do this by also getting the king ult, so... Now I'm only attacking one unit, so it's not the greatest, you know. But that's good, it didn't break any of the shields, so he didn't heal. And this didn't break, break the shield either, that's good. At what point does he use this again? Which is the taunts enemies, uh, applies to ignite effects. Now the ignite effects don't work on us because we have prayer, so... Yeah, we're just gonna deal as much damage as we possibly can to the boss, so... We're gonna go ahead and do this. That's a beefy shield. I do wonder if this will be enough, or if I have to go another turn. Either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, next turn, or by next turn, the boss is gonna die anyway. I don't think he's gonna break that shield. It's way too beefy for him. And yeah, I guess that's the guide on how to beat. Uh, floor 1 to 3 of the wolf boss with the Ban and King patience team. So yeah, you just have to bash your head against it, lose 15 or 16 times, and then the first try when you come back from a break is gonna... It's just gonna beat it. But here, should we get a Thonar victory? Because like this isn't possible without Thonar. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna attack with Ban. And then Freya with his dog costume. So yeah, we're gonna end it on that. Hope you found the video useful, uh, at least a little bit informative, um, all that good stuff. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't for like more Demonic Beast videos. I'll probably do some bird boss video fairly soon where I'm gonna use some old teams and where I also don't use Miguelda with her Holy Relic and also no Meliodas. Maybe it's gonna be this team, maybe something like that, but we'll see. But yeah, anyway, that's gonna be it for me. Uh, thanks for watching and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.